Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, it's the Buff Geek here, and today we will start our first episode for our Star Wars information series. In this episode we will discuss what I think is the real reason that Luke Skywalker disappeared. If you want to read the companion article for this, you can find it on the Buff Geek Podcast blog.wordpress.com or in the links below. This article will contain spoilers for the latest issue of the Darth Vader comic. It may also contain a possible spoiler regarding The Last Jedi, if my theory is correct. It is my opinion that the reason Luke Skywalker is in a self-imposed exile is because he has taken the Barash vow. The Barash vow recently appeared in the canon comic book series Darth Vader. In the comic, Darth Vader is sent by Emperor Palpatine to retrieve a kyber crystal in order to forge his own lightsaber. Vader's search leads him into direct conflict with the Jedi Master, Kirak Infilla. Kirak Infilla specialised in combative training within the Jedi Order, and at some point, which I imagine will be explained in future issues, or perhaps The Last Jedi, Infilla took the Barash Vow. The Barash Vow is basically one of abstinence. Once you take the vow, you disengage from anything involving the Jedi, which would have included the Clone Wars, and only engage with the Living Force itself. In total, 14,000 Jedi have taken the Barash vow, and the reasoning was that they often become disenfranchised with the ways of the Jedi. On a side note, I also believe that if Qui-Gon Jinn had lived past the Phantom Menace, he would have taken this vow, and in all likelihood, created a new faction with its first pupil being Anakin Skywalker. In fact, it's not without possibility that Count Dooku would have joined him alongside a very torn Obi-Wan Kenobi. As it pertains to Luke in The Last Jedi, he is clearly living separately from the rest of the universe. But, in true Skywalker fashion, he is torn in his decisions. He may have left his friends and family behind, but he couldn't do so without leaving a clue to his whereabouts, just in case they need him. I think this is what Luke means by saying that the Jedi must end. I suggest that Luke has been deeply hurt at the loss of his Jedi Academy, and his failure to protect them and his nephew from the dark side. Much like Yoda before him, Luke has failed the galaxy. It may even be his belief that by having a Jedi Order, you simply encourage there to be in opposition. What came first? The chicken or the egg? Batman or the Joker? The Avengers or Thanos? It's the age-old question that many heroes have to ask, and it's possible that Luke has decided that the Jedi's very existence is to blame for the Sith, or, in this case, the First Order. Thus, by taking the Barash vow, the Jedi ends with him. What do you all think of my theory? Has the Darth Vader comic planted a piece of lore that can be called back to for the fans of the expanded universe, or is it just a happy coincidence? Knowing Disney and Lucasfilm, I think not, but you never know. Please tell us your theories in the comments, and I look forward to reading all of them. If you could, give the video a like, sub the channel, and share with your friends. Much love to you, and may your midi-chlorians be of the highest count.